um, we have been subject to, to at least six months of psychological torture by a career criminal uh, hustler. Uh, uh, she uses sympathy to manipulate you. That she uses to, you know, to get in your house, saying that she is being abused by somebody and has nowhere to go. And then she comes in, and then she gets you to trust her. But she takes off her pants and shows wounds, physical wounds, all over her legs, all over her body. Um, that they're all real, and sometimes I'm suspecting she is self-inflicted. Um, and then she has a lot of stories that she's, you know, the one is that um, she, she had me put my hand on her chest, and she rotates her arm, and then uh, you can see there's something wrong with her shoulder, and it's because um, she, she lets you know that she had someone pay $100 for an hour of, of um, you know, sex service, and then she, uh, he, he got off and you know, showed a fraction of that time and she, she wants to run away and then he understandably feels burned and uh, wants to get back at her, doesn't want to let her leave so she, she and then she gets that injury on the shoulder because of that and, it's, and it's, so imagine what she did to get all the wounds on her legs, you see and then all, another wound she talks about is um, she got um, double miscarriage, she had twins that, that, that were, uh, I think, aborted, the terminated, and then last March, that's what, what she had told me, and then, um, so, so, and then, uh, so, uh, now, she's been, she comes in, and then she starts accusing of, uh, that she's being sexually pressured, pressured to have sex. And then she says that she, all of her friends know about it, and the boss knows about it. And then I start hearing threats. And then my girlfriend actually heard one of those people that she brings in uh, say, "Do you want me to get him?" Which is me. Uh, I'm the uh, you know alleged person that, that you know she's claiming abuse from. But but she stayed there for all this time and hasn't paid rent maybe two dollars here, four dollars there, you know, and then even though when she does it, if she gives one penny, she does so in, in such a way to traumatize you. And then the, all the techniques, all of the, I yeah, have the glossary of um, all the techniques she uses, the cruel tool, like if, if someone, you know, they, they show in that um, movie, the marathon runner, the guy who's, who's torturing um, the, the marathon runner, um, he has a tool toolbox for torturing it, that he uses on it. She has a variety of tools for psychological torture, okay? Besides the accusations, the lies, that, you know, it's just her, her mouth is the most vicious tool, full of poisonous, toxic, uh, you know, uh, lies that, she, I mean, just the fact of being told lies, blatant, horrific lies for months and months and the months and the, the, the fact that, that that's a, a huge part of torture is to, that you know um, that you start actually believing it you know the high hearing lie that, that's the essence of gaslighting you see and so um, and then and then what she does is she keeps provoking and to get a reaction out of you and then she um, records all of it. as soon as she's like fishing for these reactions or anything she can use to then threaten and sue and you know accuse you know and then another indication is a lot of the things that like 90% of what she accuses others of it's her own her own you know transgressions of what what she does what she feels guilty about what she feels bad about the way she copes with it is by saying you the one doing it, which is I've seen that behavior a lot. Um, you know, projecting it, and um, and so uh, yeah, and then she she gets cops to believe her, you know, because crimes are most often abuses committed by men towards women, usually physical abuse, and then so they believe her, they believe her, they don't believe that she's abusing me. It's 
less easy to uh, to believe. And then cops come over here and they take her side. They don't let me talk. And then I find that she's been talking to them, you know, personally. She makes friends with the cops. She knows, her, and then she makes friends with my girlfriend to get her to trust her. And then she lied to her, telling her I'm cheating on her. With, 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 with her, with her. Um, and she almost left because my girlfriend packed up her bags and almost left. But now she knows, you know, I have my, and the reason she wanted her gone is because now it's, it would be my word and my girlfriend's word against hers. Otherwise it would just be her word against mine and she was more likely to be believed. She doesn't want that.